Okay guys, I'm trying to go as inside as I can and as over the top as I can to try and find out what the end range of the motion is. You're watching my swing evolution. What's going on golf friends? I've got a great video today where I'm showing you a new driver move. Now, what I decided to do was really try and max out my OTT move. And it's pretty remarkable what the results are. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out that I wanna tell you guys that I don't talk about in today's video is you'll notice for the first time, I used to always keep my trail foot square. I'm actually letting it open like this, which all my years in ballet, my feet are more naturally turned out. And when you look at Sam Snead and Jack Nicklaus, their feet were more like this as opposed to Hogan feet like this. So I just give it a try. And the thing that I discovered is it naturally causes me to get into more of the Snead squat. So this is a really cool video today. And not to spoil the surprise, I played in the skins game on Tuesday and there was a light rain. Now on number 16, a solid drive, I normally have seven or eight iron in. The longest drive I've ever hit in my life, I had nine iron in. And on this last Tuesday, I hit a drive. Now, it was wet conditions. There was light rain. And I hit pitching wedge in. Like, I smoked a golf ball. By far the longest drive I ever hit on this hole. Only had 124 yards into it. it I was like, Oh my gosh. And it's because of this move that I'm doing. So we're going to talk about that. Now, really quickly, I want to mention the next MSE intensive is January 21st and 22nd. We're going to be adding distance with our driver. We're going to be learning the OTT swing so we can compress the ball with our irons. And we'll even practice short game and putting too. We've got great people coming out. It's going to be an awesome group of guys. So hit me up if you want to come out to that. Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. Also, the Big Three Golf School with George Knudsen's son, Paul. I'm going to be teaching a three-day golf school at the Seth Stone Golf Academy in Tampa, February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd after I go to the PGA show in Orlando. So that's going to be huge. And don't forget to go to MySwingEvolution.com if you want to pick up the Over the Top Miracle Swing or even better yet, pick up a MSE TV subscription, which has all of my premium content and that library keeps on growing. Now, I just added an awesome OTT introduction video that's about 10 minutes long. It's produced at the highest quality and it's a great way to start your OTT journey. So take my advice, switch your swing today. Go OTT, it changed my life, it'll change yours too. Now let's dig in. All right guys, here you can see me working on my inside over the top move. And that was pretty good. So basically, I'm playing with the idea of maxing it out. <laughs> like, how far can I go? Okay, guys, I'm trying to go as inside as I can and as over the top as I can to try and find out what the end range of the motion is. That's pretty good right there. So if I figure out where the guardrails are in the swing and I use my Hogan pivot, you know, he says, cut your sides with your elbows, you know, um, that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm starting to add a little bit of the OTT motion. Oh, that's so pure. You know, I was watching Bruce Litsky and it's like, you know, maybe the way to do this is to go as far as possible, you know, so I'm going to try and max this out. And, and the thing is, if I go as far to the inside as I can and as over the top as I can, you know, I basically hit a straight ball to fade. And I wonder if that's how those guys were doing it. I do believe that the best golfers in the world max things out and they kind of figure out, you know, like Lee Trevino is a good example of the opposite way. 
he takes it out as far as his arms and hands can go, and then he drops it in. I'm, I'm doing the opposite, which I think is much more common. In fact, Gary Player told me that the only player to do it the other way that he knew that was a superstar was Lee Trevino. Now, again, I've said this before, but I think because I'm not very tall, my inside OTT move doesn't look very, very big. I think when you see Snead and Tom Weiskopf, guys that are, you know, 6'3", it looks like a bigger loop, but because I, I just am on a much flatter plane in relation to the ball, it just doesn't look like a big OTT move. So here I switch it up and I go back to the front angle. Now I am still working on covering the ball with my chest. I want to keep my head down and turn down and through the shot very much the way Sneed did it. Now I start humming here. This is when these balls are being crushed. So I was really surprised how far I was hitting these balls. I hit a couple super long balls on Tuesday's skins game doing this. And I'm taking a look at the slow-mo little sneed squat here. Knees spread wide so I can turn my pelvis and shoulders through the hit. I'm going to get deeper into the sneed squat in a second. Here's a little bit of a three-quarter rear view. This is a, a not very common angle that I use but it still gives me a good idea. You know, one thing I've, I've been fighting with is I'm, I'm just setting up super closed to the target. And I, I'm gonna try and open that up more um, in my continuing practice sessions. But here it looks like I'm, my feet, like I'm aimed out over the fence. And I'm hitting this, this shot that comes back over. Now from this trail side, I think we can see, or rear view, we can see a better Sneed squat move. Now this swing is a great swing to analyze the Sneed squat. A number of people have talked about this, and I think it's a really good subject to discuss. What we will see is Mr. Sneed's left knee will go from being pointed behind the ball to going towards the target. And there's a great spread between his two knees here. Now, what this does is it is opening up the hips so the glutes can be fired when the knees are pulled back together to really generate a ton of speed and power. We can see it from the rear view here. Here the adductors squeeze the thighs together and then in preparation for the hit we see those knees spread far apart. The weight is evenly distributed between his feet and his heels are on the ground. Now we will watch those knees snap back together as he fires through the ball. Now this is something that I've discussed uh, in the way that Ben Hogan uses his lower body as well. Once he fires his right knee and the running at the ball move, that fires his hips. The reason why I think that this is a, a good conversation to have is because I have professional experience in a different discipline, which is ballet. Now if we watch Mikhail Baryshnikov, I mean, this is generating a lot of force into a turn or pivot. We watch Mikhail Baryshnikov. This is what is referred to as the preparation. He steps out with his right leg. He plants his heel and the knees spread apart. You see the squat? That's it right there. Baryshnikov squats. The arms are opened wide and then everything pulls back together. This is what I've described as the squeeze pivot in the Hogan Code. 
Everything opens up and squeezes back together. So there's Barishnikov doing the Sneed squat to make him spin fast. And here I am trying to do the same thing. So if we look a little bit closer here, we see those knees spread apart. And to be honest, at the time I was, I wasn't, I was working on inside and over to the max. But when I got home, I'm like, look at the Sneed squat. Now here we really see the, the knees spread to the max, the same position that, that Sneed gets into. And then everything snaps at this point. Basically, you go down to Shangri-La in the full squat, and then, then you spin and turn. Pow. So these are, these are really solid hits, and I finish up with a wedge with my last ball. So, so this is a really great way to create some power using the Sneed squat, separating those knees as you load into the ground. Uh, you know, a lot of long drivers do a similar type of move. And this gave me some really good results. I'm excited to share with you a few of my swings from my last skins game, where on two holes, I hit two of the longest drives of all time. One was clearly the longest ever. You know, guys, in some ways, uh, a great rain session is even more enjoyable than, than playing because you don't have to wait before you get to hit the shot again. You know, you can get that feeling of repetition and hitting the ball solid and, and, and not have to wait, you know, a couple holes or, or whatever before you get to hit that shot. Um, you know, we're blessed to have good weather out here right now. It's probably like 72 degrees, just a perfectly beautiful sunset. And it's such a, a joy and a blessing to be able to be out here hitting golf balls. So I'm wishing you the very best. Are you ready to experience your very own miracle? Cristo Garcia, the man who swung as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel special Hogan, has created the most controversial and effective golf training program in history. The old PGA pros, they had this much simpler kind of wisdom. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. What made the most sense was learning how to put leverage on the shaft. It's a miracle. That's the OTT. <laughs> Do you have a burning desire to get better at golf? Like that. Are you frustrated by overcomplicated modern golf instruction? Well, your prayers have been answered. OTT! Now's your chance to learn the over-the-top miracle swing. Only at MySwingEvolution.com.